Chris. Nice Welcome to, to Spectrum you. Indian Wells. Always good to see you. Thank you. It's always good to see you. We've done a lot of shows together. We have. So, you know, Chris, uh, uh, I think it'd be interesting for uh, the public to really gain some perspective on you as an artist. You started painting when? Well, I actually, most of my career did advertising art. I started right out of college, ended up doing a lot of movie posters uh, in the days when they actually used uh, actual art for movie posters. Now it's everything's photoshopped. From there, I moved to doing Disney work, a lot of their video covers, and I was airbrushing the whole time, uh, doing work that way, acrylics. Started, I was one of the first artists to kind of move into the Photoshop and doing digital art. I was kind of the, the transition from traditional art, art to that kind of digital art. And there was just a point uh, about eight years ago where I kind of had been doing advertising art long enough and it was time to get back to painting and I didn't want to, do di I didn't want to stare at a computer anymore. Started doing oil paints and right now I don't, no longer do any illustration work. It's purely just the fine art at this point. I'm curious, and I think others would be curious, to, under, to, to grasp that transition from an artistic technique standpoint of migrating from the medium that you were working in into oil paint. How, how challenging of a transition was that? Well, I think the irony is when I was doing advertising art, you can't do oil paints because you need the speed. It, they take too long to dry. So I was working in acrylics. And also, there's sort of, I, I guess, an insecurity uh, as an illustrator. You think you're not a real artist, even though you're doing amazing work. And I got to tell you, they are so much easier than acrylics because with acrylics, you constantly are fighting. They're, they're drying. Every time you're putting it down, it's already dry. And oils, you can come in the next day and start working in the same area that you did and nothing's changed. It's still ready to go. I like the look of things kind of looking photographic. And you really can only do that with, uh, with oil paints because of the blending. One of the things that I've always been inspired by with uh, a figurative artist is their ability to uh, anatomically be correct in the figurative work of a hand. And it, always very challenging. I mean, Bouguereau probably was the, the heavy hitter in the hand department, I have to agree. right? Yeah. Hands are just challenging, and yet it seems as though the vast majority of your work as it relates to the hands, are absolutely spot on. Is that something that you're challenged by or does it come natural to you? For some inexplicable reason, because you're right, most artists that I talk to, they go, oh God, hands, and they freak out. I, it's easy for me. I have no idea why. They make sense to me, the knuckles, the, yeah. the length of the fingers, the lighting, the, because they're basically tubes to me. Um, I really like painting hands and yeah, they're, they're not hard for me, so... I'm lucky. <laughs> Probably the most challenging thing for most artists. Uh, what's the, the time range that it takes you? I mean, you, are you one of these guys that sits down at the easel and starts and finishes a painting? Or do you start and then lose inspiration, then come back and regain it or carry it a different direction? Uh, you know, what is that? Uh, I, it, it depends on the detail. This one is a more detailed painting than others. That, that one has a black background, so that's a little easier. Um, this one took about a month of every day. I work from start to finish. I don't distract myself with other paintings. Um, people always say, how do you have the patience for the detail? I find it calms me down. Like, I think if I did more wild paintings, I would feel less patient. I, when I'm doing all the detail, I, it makes me happy. I feel very settled into the detail. So, yeah. Well, some lucky collector that uh, came by during this show uh, is going home with a new original. Amen. I want to congratulate you thank on you. your sale, and thank you very much for being at the show. Thank you for the very perceptive questions. I appreciate seeing you again. Take care. We love having you at the show. Right.